everybody loves a good trade in the NFL and everyone loves rankings in the NFL. So today we're combining those and creating our trade value chart. I'm going to rank all skill positions. This includes running backs, receivers, and tight ends by their trade value. Uh, shout out to Bill Simmons for this idea. He did it last year on his podcast. So I'm going to do it this year. So we got to take into account age, position, and how good they are. And I got tiers listed out for you guys for all these dudes too. I'm going to do future episodes on QB. And I'm, I'm going to tag defense. Defense is going to be hard. But this is a hard video to think to do. Sorry, not think of. But it was a hard video to do. because It's hard to rank the guys out by trade value. But I did my best. We're going to go ahead and get my rankings. But first, I just want to mention, when dudes are close, like if we have like AJ Brown and Cooper Cup, say for example, how I look at when how I rank them is like, hey, if I am the Eagles, take away all like connections and like you know emotional side would you trade aj brown for cooper cup and then you put whoever you think would say yes on the side obviously when you get into tiers most teams would say no for each other but you kind of got to get but anyways let's just go ahead and get right into it. i'm gonna start from the top start at number one and go down basically how i did is i rank my top 25 receivers in trade value and then through running backs and tight ends where they valued so i think it ended up being like 33 players Let's go ahead and get into our first tier in the top two players in my trade value. The first tier we got here in my trade value is tier one, don't call, because we're not picking up the phone. We got Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase. I have Justin Jefferson above Jamar Chase. You'll see the rankings. I'm going down. Obviously, the two best, not the two best receivers, but two like top three, five receivers. However, you, Justin Jefferson is undoubtedly one. Jamar Chase, you some people have him too, some people have him like four, but two top five receivers, both in like their third, fourth year in the NFL, super young. You're these dudes just are not being traded no matter what you offer. The two most valuable skill positions in the entire league, in my opinion. I don't think there's much debate about these two being at the top with their age and how good they are. So let's go ahead and roll right into tier two. Looking at our second tier here. You notice there are not a lot of running backs, but let's go ahead and get right through. This is called not available. These dudes are not available for trade. They're not quite that first tier, but they're next. This is three through eight on our rankings. Going three at Jalen Waddle, eight for Garrett Wilson. We got Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill. I put the Dolphin duos back to back. We got Cooper Cup, AJ Brown, Travis Kelsey sneaking in there, and then Garrett Wilson. So it's a combination of, you know, you got like Jalen Waddle. And Garrett Wilson are kind of your young, your young, super talented receivers that you just don't want to trade because their upside is still yet to be reached. And then a combination of Tyree Kill, Cooper Cup, AJ Brown, and Travis Kelsey, all respective some of the best at their positions, while still having like you know AJ Brown still relatively young, Cooper Cup still got a couple of good years, and Tyree Kill is still just balling. Travis Kelsey is Travis Kelsey. He's I put him up here at tight end. It's hard to like value tight ends compared to receivers but when you just talk about Travis Kelsey just how much better Travis Kelsey is from the second best tight end in the, in the NFL I think is why I have him so high just because you look at that gap and it's crazy and this is when you start to get to like I was thinking like when you're thinking about rankings you might be surprised by Jalen Waddle being so high but like honestly if I were a team in the NFL and I had Tyree Kill and there is the Dolphin and I called the Dolphins who had Jalen Waddle I would trade Tyreek Hill for Jalen Waddle in a heartbeat in my franchise just because of the age. And I think if you had Tyreek Hill and someone offered you Jalen Waddle, I think you got to take it. I think that's how I kind of looked at these. Um, like I said, it's hard to gauge a guy like Garrett Wilson who's so young and hasn't done it, but I put him up here just because we saw the tremendous upside with him. And I just think like his potential is super high. Um, it's hard to tell. Like Some dudes below him, you probably wouldn't necessarily trade straight up, but you'd at least have to have the conversations. So that's why I have him there. Now let's go ahead and jump into tier three. We're going to get moving. In. Moving into tier three, we got for the right price. This is nine through 19 in my players. These are all players who probably won't be traded, but if some situation happens, it could probably be had for the right price. We're starting off with Devontae Adams, CeeDee Lamb, Devontae Smith. So you got Devontae Adams, one of the best guy, one of the best receivers in the league. Getting a little bit older, then you got C. Lamb, Devontae Smith, Chris Olave, T. Higgins, a group of younger receivers who have all done a lot already. Even if it's like Olave for just one season, they've all done enough on the field to say, hey, this is a special talent. Those dudes are all very close in my opinion. You could kind of go any way you want with them. This is just the kind of order I have. T. Higgins being the oldest out of the group. That's kind of why he falls in the back into that group. Then you got Diggs, another top receiver. 
JSN is going to be one that might surprise some people how high he is for me. But I just think JSN, I was so high on him coming out of the draft. I, I just think he's a really good running or a good receiver, sorry. And just his separation ability is going to show. And he's going to be, I think in a year, if not two, you guys aren't going to be surprised at all. And JSN is probably going to be higher by that. So that's why I have it. Then I got Debo, incredible receiver. Amon Ra, young, very productive so far. And then we got our first running back, Bijan Robinson, coming in here at 18. That just shows you, I don't think running backs are very valued high. And that's why I have Bijan down here. Some of you guys might be saying, hey, Jared, uh, Bijan got drafted over JSN. And yeah, he did. But I don't believe, this is my rankings, and I don't think Bijan Robinson should have been drafted over JSN. So that's why I have JSN above Bijan, even though he literally just got drafted above him. But this is when it comes to running back. But I think Bijan has the most value because we've seen teams want young running backs. You know, running backs don't have a long lifespan. So Bijan, with his talent, is up there at the top with all the other guys like Saquon, McCaffrey, and stuff. But his age is why I have him so much higher. And he's the first running back on this list. But, like, realistically, if you're the Lions... And the Falcons call and say, hey, we'll swap Bijan for Amon Ra right now. The Lions say no. Like, that's why I have him below. And you think you go down the list, you're like, Diggs in the Bills? They say no if you offer Bijan. I'm, I'm, I would say no at least. So that's why I have it. Kyle Pitts is an interesting one coming in here at 19. Another tight end for the Falcons. I still am a huge Kyle Pitts believer. His athleticism is just off the charts. Something else we don't see at tight end. You know how I'm saying there's the gap between Kelsey and the other tight end and why he's so valuable? I think Pitts has the ability to create that gap for himself where once Kelsey retires or if he's between two and three, but he's able to separate himself just with his athleticism and receiving ability. I think it's still yet to be uncovered. Tight ends, keep in mind, tight ends aren't like step on the field day one good. They take time. Kyle Pitts, I'm still a huge believer in just the talent is off the charts that you have to have him here. It's a little pair of Falcons at 18, 19. This is probably my biggest tier though. Any of these dudes could probably be available for the right price. Like I said, like the Falcons probably won't trade Bijan or Pitts, but that, that's kind of just my little theme for the tier I went with for the right price. Now we're going to get into tier four, our next tier. Looking at tier four here, I have this depends. It depends on the situation. If one of these guys gets unhappy, if there's a contract, if the team is bad, then yeah, they could probably get traded in it for a price. And I got Terry McLaurin, DK Metcalf, and DJ Moore, a pair of middle-aged receivers. They're not, like, super young, but they're not old at all. And they've all produced. Like, Terry McLaurin, great production for the Commanders. DK, great production for the Seahawks. DJ Moore produced a decent amount for his quarterback play he's had in Carolina. We'll see this year what Justin Fields what he does for the Bears. But some younger guys who I still think have a ton of value if they were to be traded. We got Jonathan Taylor, my second running back here. Another running back was that combination of being a really good running back but also being pretty young and not having too many miles on him already so the Colts interesting the first dude we've mentioned that's like relatively on the trade block right now so we could actually see what he gets to trade for and it'd be interesting to see what his ultimate value is but I have him here and then Drake London was the hardest probably guy on this list for me because I'm like I believe in Drake London he's drafted high but he didn't like show what like Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson showed last year for me to put him up above some of like the dudes like DJ Moore and DK Metcalf. Like honestly, like if the C if you're the Seahawks and the Falcons call you and say, Hey, we'll trade you Drake London for DK, you probably say no. I, I think I would say no. So that's why I got Drake London down here at twenty four in my rankings for the Falcons, a young guy, but still just needs to see the talent. But anyways, that's a smaller tier of depends. Now let's go on to tier five. Looking at tier five, this is just the upside tier. These are young dudes who haven't shown a lot on the field or need to show more on the field, but their talent is off the charts and their value. These dudes are all probably going to be way higher next year, but I just need to see it before I put them necessarily above these guys. This is 25 through 30. We're starting off with Christian Watson, the guy who's done the most out of these guys, other than maybe Brees Hall. Christian Watson had a good year last year. We know the talent, but I want to see more before I say, like, I put him over, like, before I start putting him over DK Metcalf, Terry McLaurin, and some of those guys. And then we got the rookie receivers, Quentin Johnson, Zay Flowers, Jordan Addison at, you know, 26, 27, and 29. And I got Jameer Gibbs actually here above Jordan Addison. I put running back question mark because the Lions are saying, hey, he's a weapon. He's not a running back, which I think they're going to regret in a couple years when it comes to Jameer Gibbs' contract and franchise tag. Hey, Jameer Gibbs, I heard they're saying it on 
the podcast on the fantasy footballers podcast, they're talking about, hey, Jameer Gibbs needs to keep these receipts of them saying he's not a running back for when it comes to contracts and say, hey, you said I wasn't just a running back. Anyway, but yeah, so I think he's more than just a running back. That receiving upside, I think, makes him a little bit more valuable than a dude like Brees Hall here. You can see at 30, running back, who's a great receiver, don't get me wrong, but already a year older than Jameer Gibbs, and he's coming off of an ACL. I just think, like, those two put together, like I said, they're two spots apart. Realistically, neither team would do the trade if it was Jameer Gibbs for Brees Hall. That's why, like, they're two spots apart, but... I'm going to give Jameer Gibbs the slight nod in there. Then Jordan Addison. I wasn't as huge of a fan of Jordan Addison in the draft as, like, where he went. But I still agree. I still see the talent. He's still first-round receiver. I still got to put him in there. And then Brees Hall, like I said, his talent is great, and he's shown more than some of these receivers. But just the value of running back, nonetheless, a running back coming off of an ACL injury already isn't necessarily going to put you super high on the trade value chart. Let's go ahead and move into tier six now. This is our last tier. Go Looking on. at our last tier, we got 31 through 33. This is older, but still good. We got Christian McCaffrey for the Niners. Another running back coming on this list. He's like the best running back in the league maybe, but with his age, I think teams would rather have some of the youth, especially with how we've seen the running back position going, but still super valuable. Still have him here at 31. Mark Andrews coming in at 32, tight end for the Ravens. He's that next tight end behind Kyle Pitts. I don't know about Mark Andrews. It's tough because last year was a really weird year. He went through some injuries. Lamar went through some injuries. But you look before that, and he was that second tight end behind Travis Kelsey. So he has a really good year this year and shows that it's still he's still in his prime. Maybe he bumps up a little bit, but I just... I have a little more worries with Mark Andrews than I would like to be able to put him high. So that's why I have him here at 32. Then Mike Evans at 33, incredible receiver, little bit older. I just think like if he were to get traded, I I just don't think he'd have as much value as maybe he deserves. Because like I mean, Mike Evans is a Hall of Fame receiver. I mean he's a thousand yards. This is no discredit to Mike Evans. I love Mike Evans. He's an incredible receiver, one of the best in the entire league. But just with his age, the type of player he is, I just don't think. He necessarily has more value than some of the young guys and people that I put above him. It's kind of like you think, like, dude, like, these receivers like Jordan Addison, Quentin Johnson, they all went in, like, the mid-20s. Do you think Mike Evans would be flipped for a mid-20s pick? I don't. I just don't think he would. I think Mike Evans got traded. It'd be more of, like, a second, third round kind of day two value rather than day one value, which these teams obviously spent day one value on those other receivers. So they inherently have more trade value because they literally just spent a first-round pick on him, whereas Mike Evans couldn't get a first round pick in return so that's kind of how i looked at that anyway that is our last tier any off 33 players with mike evans right there anyways that's my tiers that's my top 33 skill positions in trade value you know it's not a lot of running backs we had four running backs on there two rookies mccaffrey and Brees hall not a lot of running backs only three tight ends too so it's a fun exercise let me know guys you think we're like way off on value down in the comments I know there's going to be a lot of arguments. Like I said, it's a hard exercise because comparing cross positions and like factoring age into it too and just thinking of the upside, it's hard, but it's fun. I, I love doing these things, looking around, seeing what value they could potentially have. Like I said, let me know people that you think I left off too. Like I guess guys that could come to mind like Deontay Johnson, DeAndre Hopkins, some like really good receivers that unfortunately didn't even make the list. Some younger guys. Anyways, I'm a, I am don't know if I'm going to do quarterbacks or not. I think quarterbacks kind of just follow the rankings because age just doesn't matter as much in quarterbacks as some of these guys. But I'm going to work on defense, try and do all of defense as one trade value rankings. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Make sure you like, subscribe. Go check out my other videos. I've been doing tons of different stuff, fantasy, college football stuff. I mean, hell, football starts now. We're in the preseason already. College football season's coming up. NFL's coming up. Draft content's already starting. It's never too early for some way too early 2024 scouting. So you know we're doing that too. I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you for watching.